Ah, good morning. It's Tom Padula from uh, Tom Padula TV on YouTube and, uh, of course, Insania Booksellers. And this morning, you're getting probably a, a better picture because I've finally been able to work out the live option on the new phone. So here we go. Uh, nothing really drastic, it's just that when you set up the new phone, new phones, what happens, they take a, a while to download everything, etc. But, you know, being impatient, of course, we think always there's something wrong. So it's good to be uh, peaceful in oneself, exercise patience, be optimistic that things will turn out all right. And um, all at once, uh, here we are again with a uh, new phone and better picture and also better sound, I think. Uh, welcome to Curtis, Al Tolman. Great for you to come back on. Now, I have a couple of announcements to make. One of them is... Um, that I intend to uh, finish off uh, with uh, Itali La Pratica, Italian La Pratica Italiana. No, we've done the grammar, lessons 1 to 20. Pratica will be 21 to 40. So this is lesson uh, 37, and it's Tuesday, the 28th of June, 2022. So what happens is that um, I think from next Monday, uh, from the 3rd of July, I will be taking a break, so very likely next week I won't be on, uh, and I'll come back after the 23rd, you know, the Saturday 24th, 25th or 26th, 27th of July, I'll be back uh, with uh, Italian, uh, La Pratica Italiana, you know, the Italian practice. Now, that was one, uh, and I think after, uh, you know, so much... Um, effort over the last, uh, uh, since September last year, really. I haven't stopped. I need, uh, I think you probably need a break too for me. But what I've done is uh, I am actually uh, transferring all this work onto YouTube on your smart TV. So if you have a smart TV at home, you'll be able to watch my, uh, all of my um, podcasts. Uh, and uh, I think I've done the first five of um, Dante Alighieri, The Inferno, the first five programs. Then uh, I've also done five for world history, five for Italian lessons, and five for French and uh, Spanish. So I'll do them in lots of five. And as they come on, you'll be able to access this over and over again. So that any, you know, if you want to follow my, my train of thought in uh, these things here, uh, you'll be able to revise and you'll be able to make whatever, you know, whatever comes your own. Uh, please forgive me for the mistakes that I, I have made. Uh, I can't take them back, but it doesn't matter because the idea is for us to communicate. So when we communicate and we take a, a certain path, what happens is that, you know, you have to own the mistakes as well as the good things. And that's what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, welcome to Asunta Lombardia. Now, I'm very happy for people to come on when I have um, uh, these pod, well, th these uh, live, uh, uh, live programs here on Facebook. Uh, I'm very, very happy for that uh, because that gives me confidence. And apart from that, it also checks out that I'm actually online, what I'm saying. If you want to ask questions, please do. But there are a lot of people now watching uh, what I'm doing outside of the actual uh, air uh, and a bit uh, each uh, for each program, for each presentation, for each lesson, whichever way you want to call it. So the other, the other thing that I'm moving towards is the actual practice of Italiano. How can you own Italian? How can you speak it? Well, you can't speak it unless you actually practice it with, uh, you know, uh, a bit every day. You can only own what you know. You can't own what you don't know. So if you don't know the days of the week, the months of the year, the seasons, etc., you have to learn those off by heart so that you can call them up at any time. Uh, the, the other thing, Italian is not just la grammatica, la pratica of the speaking of the four, you know, uh, the grammar, the nine parts of speech. Now the, then you've got your uh, actual... Uh, sections, listening, speaking, reading and writing. 
And but there's more to it. There is also the geography of it, the history, the literature, uh, the cooking, the, the the religious, the political, the sport, and the list goes on. Uh, you know the government. And I, what I want to do is in the I won't stop the air, but I will change it for myself. So I'll do probably uh, the next 20 will be sort of geography, history, uh, section or literature, whichever one I think, but that's where I'm going. I'm sort of doing this so that there's a variety of options and to encourage people also to get yourself a good uh, a good iPhone or whatever, you know, I've got the iPhone. So. Uh, it's important in today's with in today's world with the technology that you invest in your own knowledge and in your own access to knowledge via uh, via your computers and via the uh, the tablets and via the phones. So there are eleven thirty. I've spoken too much, <laughs> but today it's going to be easy because it's going to be very uh, you know very pleasant for me. A combination of uh, a combination of things, and I'm going to start with um, speak, parla, speak. Parliamo di te. Parliamo di te. Don't forget, I've got this these well lovely books here in the shop. Anyone who wants to have them, uh, contact me. But parliamo di te. Here we go. I'm going to first read them out read out the phrases, and then I'll show them to you and we'll go through the English as well. Okay? So, it's parliamo di te, let's talk about you. Come ti chiami? Quanti anni hai? Come si chiamano i genitori? Dove abiti? Abito qui vicino. Abiti lontano da qui? Abito in un appartamento. Abitiamo in un condominio. Abito in una grande casa. Abbiamo una mini villa. Now, if you speak Italian already like Asunda does that I know, you can use this for teaching. You can be the teacher, the tutor to somebody else. So stay on because there's a, the program today is very interesting. Quando sei nato o quando sei nata? Sono nato o sono nata il primo maggio. Quando compi gli anni? Fra due settimane. Chi è quel ragazzo? È il mio compagno di scuola. Chi sono? Sono i miei fratelli. Sei stato promosso o sei stata promossa? Sì, con bei voti. Fammi vedere la pagella. Nessuno è stato bocciato. Che ne pensi della scuola? Beh, non c'è male. Ti piace? Penso di sì. Direi di sì. No, non tanto. I got options there. Vuoi bene ai vicini? Sì, moltissimo. Vuoi bene al tuo cane? Sì, gli voglio tanto bene. Voglio bene anche al mio gattino. Quanti siete in casa? Siamo in sette, più il cane. E il gattino, didn't mention it. Andate tutti d'accordo? Abbastanza. Sì, d'accordissimo. Dimmi com'è il tuo fratellino? Grande, piccolo, alto, basso, grasso, magro, simpatico, antipatico, bello, brutto, buono, cattivo, calmo o vivace, uh, birichino o placido, furbo o stupido, doesn't have it here, un attacca brighe. Che classe fai? Faccio la terza, mia sorella fa la quinta, mio fratello fa la seconda media. So that's, uh, you know, parliamo di te. Of course, you can ask more and more of these questions. And here we go. I'm going to show them to you and do the English as well. There we are. I think I might do it this way. Oh, rotate. One let me. Okay. One let me rotate. That's interesting. Okay. Parliamo te, come ti chiami, etc. So this is what's your name? Here. What's your name? How old are you? What are your parents' names? Where do you live? I live near here. Do you live far from here? 
I live in an apartment. We live in a condominium. I live in a big house. We have a townhouse. The townhouse is called Mini Villa. See that? So I can't do the two because it's too far away for you. But I'll read the English part. When were you born? I was born on the 1st of May. When is your birthday? In two weeks. Who's that boy? Is my school friend. Who are they? They are my brothers. See? Chi è quel ragazzo? Il mio compagno di scuola. Chi sono? So you can actually translate that. The next one. Have you passed? Uh, well, chi è quel Have you passed? Si con bei voti. Yes, with good marks. Show me your school report. La pagella, there is. Yeah? La pagella. Nobody failed. What do you think about school? Well, it's not too bad. Do you like it? I think so. I would say so. No, not very much. Really, you know, when you fail, uh, failing is, a, is an old-fashioned educational uh, sort of principle. People do not fail. They learn or they don't learn, but they can learn. So if you start saying you failed, you're already putting people in a box. No good. So everyone should go up with their age group so that, you know, the naughty boy of the previous class is not landed in, in another new class with new people. So they go up, like in a supermarket. You get your six years of education, the state pays for it, or your parents, whoever, and then whether you've done very well or not, well, it's up to you. The teachers can only do so much. It's your commitment to the subject areas that you like that will make a difference. Okay, that was a little bit of a reflection for, from me, being a, an ex-teacher. You know, you can challenge what I said. Why not? So, do you like your neighbours? Yes, very much. Do you like your dog? Yes, I like my, him very much. I, like, I also like my cat. And the, the dog can be also a she-dog, so I like her very much. I also like my cat. Okay, so, voi bene ai vicini, si mortis etc. How many of us, of you live at home? Seven of us, plus the dog. Do you all get along well enough? Yes, very much so. Tell me about your little brother. Dimmi come il tuo fratellino. These are the adjectives. Big, small, tall, short, fat, thin, likable, unlikable, handsome, ugly, good, bad, calm, lively, naughty, placid, cunning. Well, if you're cunning, uh, so, you, you know, you, you're a dumb uh, head, you know, if you're not cunning. So it's a bit stupid. I would put stupid there, but, you know, it's not good to say to somebody, you are stupid or my brother is stupid. No. A troublemaker, un attacca briga. The last one, what grade are you in? I am in grade three. My sister is in grade five. My brother is in year eight. So you can see with this book here, that there are, uh, there's a lot, a lot of these phrases which you don't get normally. You don't get that. This John Lander did a very good job uh, by doing this for people in schools. And the index is this here. There's the index here. Okay. And you can write your own. There you are. But if you want that book there, you can use it. Uh, when you're teaching somebody or when you're tutoring somebody, you can do that. Now, before I do the next language one, I want to talk about the Biografia di Renato Carosone. Renato Carosone was um, and is an incredible icon of, uh, of, of, of Italy in terms of uh, uh, his mu musical le legacy. He was renowned for... Uh, for his uh, wonderful uh, songs in Neapolitan language, which is close to Italian anyway. So I don't have to worry about calling it a dialect. It's ridiculous. Just call it the language. And you know that within that language, there are differences. There are differences. But who was, who was Renato Carosone? Known in 20 to 2001, so he lived to the age of 81. 
Diplomatosi in pianoforte all'età di 17 anni, presso il Conservatorio di San Pietro in Maiella, è subito scritturato da una compagnia d'arte varia ed inizia la sua attività in Africa, prima a Massawa, poi ad Asmara ed infine ad Addis Abeba. Don't forget, he was born in 1920, so by 1936, 37, he finished his schooling and it was the fascist era in Italy and they had occupied, uh, uh, they occupied Ethiopia at the time. So he went there with the, the, with the army. And, you know, he, there were also Americans there during the war, etc. He was there for 10 years. So in a very formative part of his um, of his life. So, in Africa, prima Massa, poi ad Asmar ed infine ad Addis Ababa, prestando pure servizio militare. So, he served uh, in the army as well. Rientra in Italia nel 1946, ad ostilità finite, when the war finished, e dopo quasi un decennio d'assenza, and after ten years of being away from Italy, in the most formative time of his life. So at the age of 17, 16, 17, he went there, and at the age of uh, 26, he came back. Nel 1949, scritturato da un nuovo locale napoletano, lo Shaika Club, dà vita al trio Carosone. Condividono l'avventura l'olandese Peter Van Wood, tra i primi a suonare da noi la chitarra elettrica. In seguito autore di brani quali Tre numeri all'otto, 1949, e Via Monte Napoleone, 1954, ed il fantasioso G.G. di Giacomo, batterista versato per la comicità. He was a drama player. Uh, welcome to Colin Ramsley. Uh, he was a drama player and also a great comic, uh, this G.G. di Giacomo. Il successo del gruppo è immediato con un repertorio influenzato dal jazz, Fats Waller soprattutto, ed in parte fondato sulla garbata ironizzazione di canzoni della tradizione napoletana, Scalinatella, Anime Core, Luna Rossa, Odd Italiana e La Barca Tornò Sola, quando Van Wood decide di lasciare per recarsi in America. La band si allarga prima da prima in quart a quartetto e successivamente a sestetto. La notorietà in continuo aumento, rafforzata dall'esibizione al locale di Sergio Bernardini, la bussola di Focette in Versilia, porta il nostro ad incidere tra il 1954 e il 1958 i sette trentatè giri di Carosello, uh, Carosello Carosone. <laughs> so he produced the seven uh, discs, seven records, uh, the big ones, uh, called Carosello Carosone, and which are a lot of very popular Italian songs, uh, Neapolitan songs as well, very, very, very well known in Italy and played all over the world as well. And I'm going to do some. Now, I'm going to, to stop there because I want to bring in one of his songs one of his songs, then I'll continue. So we finish here with La Notarietà, in continuo aumento, rafforzata dall'esibizione al locale di Sergio Bernardini, La Bussola di Focette in Versilia. Porti il nostro ad incidere tra il 1954 e il 1958 i sette trentatré giri di Carosello Carosone, dove sono raccolte gran parte delle sue irresistibili composizioni. Okay, so here is still con I'm gonna finish there and then I will continue. Okay? And let's do one song. The the one that is famous for it's called Te Piaciuta. And all of his shows, because he became uh he did a lot of shows then around Italy, uh, started with um, Te Piaciuta. Canta Napoli, Napoli matrimoniale, eh eh, dopo i confetti, so asciute e difette. Caro Giovanni, eh, mo che ce vuoi fa? Se riflettevi e se bene puntavi, tutti sti guai non stiva a passà. Mo che anche te despiera e hai voglia da lucca, che non c'è stato divorzio e tu te la zucca. 
Ti è piaciuta, ti è piaciuta, tienete la cara cara, ti portaste sull'altare, sotto braccio insieme a te. Mo te vedo fritto e stanco, su coraggio, uè giù va, se il melone è uscito bianco, e mo chi ti vuo pigliare? <ride> il matrimonio è come il melone, eh, può uscire bianco e può uscire anche rosso, ma che sei matto, non dormi nel letto, in da poltrone tu dormi perché? Dici che a notte la sposa è più brutta, la capa è morta, te pare vedere. A dote che ha portato, nemmeno chiù ci sta, te l'ha pigliata brutta e niente sa per fare. Ti è piaciuta, ti è piaciuta, tienete la cara cara, ti ha portato sull'altare, sotto braccio, insieme a te. Mo te vedo a fritto e stanco, su, coraggio, uè, giù va, se il melone è uscito bianco, e mo chi ti vuoi pigliare? Ti è piaciuta, ti è piaciuta, tienete la cara cara, ti ha portato sull'altare, sotto braccio, insieme a te. Mo te vedo che ha fritto e stanco, su, coraggio, uè, giù va, se il melone... Se il melone è uscito bianco, e mo chi ti vuoi pigliare? Se il melone è uscito bianco, e mo chi ti vuoi pigliare? <laughs> This is a, a song, a Neapolitan song by Renato Carasone. And if you uh, click Renato Carasone on YouTube, there's a lot of his work there. And it's wonderful music, wonderful music. And the words too are very, you know, the sense of irony. Welcome to Henry. Henry Vosselis. Oh, ciao, Henry. I haven't seen you for 50 years plus, <laughs> maybe 60 years. Like, no, no, 55, let's say 55. Good to see you on. Okay, so I'm doing Renato Carosone, a, a very a popular uh, Italian singer from Naples who also served in Ethiopia during the war. So he, he is very famous for his, um, uh, for his concerts as well. I'll finish off... Um, I'll finish off with, uh, you know, this is biography here, but it's in Italian. Um, so if you want the translation, you can go to, you can go to Wikipedia, we can go to an, uh, anything online, and you can look up um, the life of Renato Carosone. And you will be surprised just how much pleasure you'll get out of his music. Unbelievable. So after he produced his, his records, He then started to, of course, he started to uh, do a lot of concerts because when you, you know, you, you first make the products and then you have to sell them and you have to move around. Not like Tom Padula, he likes to stay where he is. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Intanto nei concerti divenuti degli autentici spettacoli, l'introduttivo Canta Napoli di Gegè Di Giacomo, i dialoghi singolari e di ad inframezzare e le esecuzioni, l'uso di oggetti in tema, vedi la penna da indiano per il pelle rossa, destinate a terminare col coinvolgimento del pubblico, vengono eseguiti in maniera travolgente tutti i classici di Carosone. E sì, these are some of the songs. Maruzzella, 1955, dedicata alla moglie e scritta assieme ad Enzo Bonagura, and dedicated Maruzzella to his wife. Tu vuoi fare l'americano, made famous by la... Sofia Loren, 1956, che inaugura in maniera felicissima la collaborazione col pittore paroliere Nicola Salerno. And, um, in arte Nis, o Sarracino, that's another one that everyone still plays in Italian clubs here in the music when, when people go dancing. Dal ritmo travolgendo, Torero, Torero, cia cia, 1958, in testa per due settimane alle classifiche di vendita USA e che conoscerà oltre 30 versioni in lingua inglese. This one, uh, this one here, Torero, is, is also... Uh, translated in many, many languages and also uh, there are other versions for it. Caravan Petrol, 1959, eseguita col turbante in testa da Di Giacomo. Un lungo tour partito da, da Cuba e, conclu e concluso si alla Carnegie Hall di New York il 5 gennaio 1957 con esiti trionfali da conto della straordinaria popolarità del musicista campano, tuttavia non gli impedisce nel 60 di annunciare all'apice della carriera il proprio ritiro dalle scene. <laughs> My advice to Putin is that the Lord, do what um, Renato Carasone at the heart of your power, give it all up. 
That's what Renato Carosone did. When he was became so popular worldwide, he decided, no, I don't want to do this anymore. And he just stopped doing concerts. He stopped doing music. And he comes back occasionally later on, but he becomes a good painter. Il suo silenzio poche volte interrotto. His silence was very few times he interrupted his, his, you know, whenever he felt nostalgic about the scene, he probably came back. Il concerto alla bussola nel 75, so from 1960, early 60s, to 75, we see him in a concert in la bussola again. Uh, un disco nell'82, another record in 82, la non memorabile, memorabile partecipazione alla, al Sanremo dell'89, in 1999 he participated in the, in, in the Sanremo Song Festival, durò oltre 40 anni, non bastevole a far a piombare in Olobrio la sua inimitabile arte. So, even after, almost to the day of his death, his popularity increased immeasurably, immeasurably. And this is another song of his. It's called Come Facet Mamata. How, how your mother made you. Quando mamma ta ta fat, quando mamma ta ta fat, vo sape come facet, vo sape come facet. Ben pastasti carne bella, ben pastasti carne bella, tutte quelle che mettete, tutte quelle che mettete. Cento rose incappucciate, tinta martola miscata, latte rosa, rosa e latte, te facete un coppo fatta. Non c'è bisogno zingara pa divina con c'è, come t'ha fatta mamma t'ha, o sacce meglio te. E per fa sta bocca bella, e per fa sta bocca bella, non servetta a stessa dosa, non servetta a stessa a dosa. Vo sape che ci mettete, vo sape che ci mettete, mo te dico tutte cose, mo te dico tutte cose. Nu panari chirghine, tutte fraule e giardine, miele, zucchero e cannella, tempastai sta bocca bella. Non c'è bisogno zingara, pa divina con c'è, come fa t'ha fatta mamma t'ha, o oh, sacce meglio te. E per fasti trezze d'ora, e per fasti trezze d'ora, mamma toi sa pezzentetta, mamma toi t'ha pezzentetta, bella mia te qua moneta, bella mia te qua moneta, vo sape che c'è servetta, vo sape che c'è servetta. Na miniera sana sana, tutta fatta filigrana, c'è voletta per si trezze, che va sana non c'è sta prezza. Non c'è bisogno zingara, pa divina con c'è. Come t'ha fatta mamma t'ha, o sacce meglio te. Non c'è bisogno zingara, pa divina con c'è. Come t'ha fatta mamma t'ha, o sacce meglio te. Welcome to Maria Nuccio Formica. Good to see you. I'm doing Renato Carosone, which is um, one of the great... Um, one of the great singers uh, of Italy from Naples. And he's also famous for, then after this I'll take a break and I'll do some words from Italian literature, which will be the next lot of, um, the next program of mine, which will start after Italiano, Pratica dell'Italiano, grammar, practice, and then we'll go to the literature part. Che la la? Stamore me teneva ingatanato, ma ho detto basta e mi sono liberato. Me pare più turchino mare, me pare più lucento sole, e sto cantando pa felicità. Che la la, che la la, mo va dicendo che mi vuole lassà. Se crede che mi faccio sangue amare, se crede che mi pazzisca e poi mi spara. Che la la, che la la. Non sa perché piacere che mi fa, me ne piglia una da più bella e zitella resterà. Che la la, che la la, che la la. 
a ieri mi ha mandato un biglietto, pa figlia do portiere del rimpetto, mi scrive che non è felice e cavoria come fa pace, ma io mi sto gustando a libertà, che la la, che la la, mo va dicendo che mi vuole assà, se crede che mi faccio sangue amare, se crede che mi pazzisca e poi mi spara, che la la, che la la. Non sa perché piacere che mi fa, me ne piglia una tacchia bella e zitella resterà. Che la la, 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 che la la. And there's a bit more, but this, this song here is actually played by some of the bands in uh, the Italian um, uh, in the Italian clubs, including Solarino, because Nuccia, uh, Maria Nuccia Fermica is on, so I might as well mention Solarino Social Club. And of course, my other one is, uh, uh, that I got to, Federazione Lucana, and also, also of course, Fogla Furlan have been very nice to me as well. There are quite a few, there are over uh, two, three hundred, um, well, how many, 30, 30 clubs, there are 30, about 60 clubs, Italian clubs in Melbourne now, uh, 30 generic ones, probably 50, because not all of them appear in Il Globo each week, uh, and uh, the, 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 the ones of the pensionati. So they all have very good activities, people, and they all welcome everyone from all across our second, third generation, Italo Australian and Italo Falls. People love Italian culture. So book yourself in and have a good Italian uh, dancing session with great food. Okay, now with after this one here, I'm going to do the words. Okay, I'm going to do la letteratura, liter literature. Okay, now this is another book, of course, that I use. Uh, you know, because I'm surrounded by books, even though people getting rid of them from uh, from their homes now and schools too. They throw them out. Uh, so you can pick them up very cheaply too, but mine is, you know, support me. Welcome to Maria Faila. Uh, and Maria Faila was there on Sunday with my first uh, coro all'improvviso. Welcome. Literature, la letteratura. I might do this this other way. I might do it this way. Okay. So I can show you the words. Otherwise, you get bored with me. Here we go. Wait a minute. Here we go. There we are. La letteratura. Here we go. We're going to read it together. Yes. I think you can see it. This new phone is wonderful. Periodo. Il periodo. Epoca. L'epoca. Romanticism. Il romanticismo. The Middle Ages. Il Medioevo. Stop, Tom. Okay. The modern age, i tempi moderni, classicism, il classicismo, criticism, la critica, realism, il realismo, role, il ruolo, style, lo stile, fact, il fatto, event, l'evenimento, story, la storia, character, il carattere, act, l'atto, verse, il verso, Page, la pagina. Climax, il punto culminante. Rhythm, il ritmo. Play, la commedia. Short story, il racconto. Poem, il poema. Novo, il romanzo. That poem is also la poesia, you could say. But the poem is the long one. Binding of a book, la rilegatura. Encyclopedia, l'enciclopedia, index, l'indice, volume, volume, il volume. That's not volume on your radio, but it's a volume, il volume in the sense of a text, of a book, a big book. It's called il volume rather than il libro. Text, il testo, content, il contenuto, introduction, l'introduzione, edition, l'edizione. You can have many editions when people then revise their, uh, their book and uh, add a few more chapters or take them away in order to sell, you know, to resell what they produced before. They are tricks of the trade. Revision, la revisione. Chapter, il capitolo. 
section, la sezione, explanation, la spiegazione, conflict, il conflitto, idea, l'idea, form, la forma, theory, la teoria, scene, la scena, rule, la regola, composition, la redazione. La teoria batte la pratica. Theory beats, uh, beats no. La pratica batte la teoria. Practice in something beats theory. But in some of the more uh, difficult areas of knowledge, theory must come first before you even start. That, that applies to things, to a modern technology. It, you might as well do the theory first and then you do the practice. So the theory allows you to do, to find, you know, to, to be able to work with technology a lot better or with medicine. You can't just start opening up bodies to find out before they allow you eyes. Think about that, the role of theory and practice. Sometimes the practice is better, but the theory is sometimes more important. But theory is always important. But practice, without practice, theory is nothing. It's just an idea. Okay, so here we go. So if you want to learn to cook, you can. You get a lot of my cookbooks. got 50 boxes here of cookbooks. And uh, I bet you, even if you read them, if you never go to the shop to buy your fruit and vegetables, you'll never know how to cook. Opinion, opinion, l'opinione, plot, la trama, ending, la fine, manuscript, il manuscritto, narrative, la narrativa, poetry, la poesia, satire, la satira, fate, fate, fate la sorte, or fight, fight. That's in English, of course, yes. <laughs> well, fate, it could have been an Italian word. I lost it there. <laughs> Fight, la sorte, meaning il significato, masterpiece, il capolavoro, bibliography, la bibliografia. I'm going to start there because there's quite a bit there. I might continue this after. Let me sing first. Uh, I need to get the cobwebs out of me. Just one second. Okay, we're doing Renato Carosone. And this is now Guaglione. Eh? Guaglione. Will I show you the words? Yes, I will. Here you are. Oh, you can sing with me, all right? Stai sempre ca, bondate ca, mienza sta via. Non mangi più, non dormi più, che pecundria. We picciri che vena di sta gelosia. Tu vo soffri, tu vo morì, chi to fa fa? Corre in braccia a due mamma. Non fa o scema, picciri. Dille tutta la verità, che mamma te può capì. E passe, spasse sotto sto barcone, ma tu si guaglione, tu non canusce femmina, sei ancora così giovane, tu si guaglione che ti mise in capo, vai io cao pallone, che vanno di sti lacrime, vatte, non me fa ridere, corre in braccia a due mamma, non fa scema picciri, dille tutta la verità. Come a matte può capì. E passe, spasse sotto sto balcone, ma tu si guaglione, tu non canusce femmina, sei ancora così giovane, tu si guaglione che ti mise in capo, voglio che ho pallone, che vonne di ste lacrime, va a te, non mi fa ridere, curro un braccio a tu mamma. Mo non fa o scema picciri, di la tutta verità, che mamma te fa capì. E passe, spasse sotto sto barcone, ma tu si guaglione, tu non canusce femmina, sei ancora così giovane, tu si guaglione che ti mise in capo, va io che ho pallone, che vonne di ste lacrime, va a te, non mi fa ridere etc., etc. So that's, that's Guaglione. Of course, uh, you know, I did it in, 
just the lyrics because when you got to when you got to online and you look up Carosone and you can just go to Google and just write down Guaglione and then it'll come up with Renato Carosone and then you've got all the music, the, the beautiful part. But without the words, a lot of people uh, you know, uh, it would be lovely in a in a dancing hall in Italian clubs where people know the words and they sing along with the singer, because some of the singers too they forget the words, huh? <laughs> or they do it in a different tune. Whatever, they, anything goes. Welcome to Silvana Suarbaci. Uh, fantastic that you're on. Yes, from Turkey. Fantastic. Good. So I've got a few people today, 12 or 4. I've still got another half an hour. And uh, uh, I was going to do, uh, I was going to do other things as well. I might do a bit of, what, what did I have written? I, I've written here that I wanted to do La Letteratura. Okay, La Mia Cassetta. Let me do this one here. These are, this is an old, a very old book that I've got here. And there are, uh, and also uh, what I have here as well, is um, Una Predica di San San Francesco. This was, you know, th these books are 50, 60, 70 years old, some of them. And here we go. I'll show you. Look how beautiful they used to look. Angelo Silvio Novaro, La Predica di San Francesco. Okay, and this applies now. Putin is also a question now. Listen to San Francesco, Mr. Putin. Agli uomini che avevano elmo, elmo e corazza, che avevano la spada e la ferrata mazza, diceva Gesù nessuna guerra vuole, vuol che vi amiate sotto il dolce solo. Diceva Gesù non vuole nessuna guerra, vuol che vi amiate sulla dolce terra. La tortorella mai non piange sola, presso ha il compagno che la, raccons che la racconsola. Le piccole api fanno le loro cellette con cordi e ognuna un po' di miel vi mette. Amatevi anche voi dunque, lasciate il ferro e l'ira, amatevi e cantate. <laughs> uh, sounds like me. <laughs> uh, that's wonderful. Uh, that's, that's it. That's one. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, I, I picked up a couple of them. One of them is called La, La Mia Casetta. La mia cassetta. Okay, here we go. I'll show you the, uh, this one as well. Look what a beautiful cassetta this has got. Okay? Now, uh, to show it to you, I have to put the phone on the side. Let me see if I can manage. Because so I'm going to read it directly from the book. Okay, here we go. La mia cassetta ha due finestre sole, ma fiorite che sembrano un giardino. Ci sono girani, garofani e viole, e un po' di maggiorana e rosmarino. E dentro è tutto lindo e tutto bello, e lustro come sa lustrar la mamma, quando crepita allegra nel fornello, par che goda a specchiarvisi la fiamma. Oh, come cara questa mia casetta, dove la mamma tutto il di lavora, dove la sera ognuno di noi s'affretta e nell'essere insieme si ristora. Now, Lina Schwartz, even though she's got a different uh, non-Italian surname, but could be from the north, he was a, he really a great Italian poet as well, a, a, beautiful, a beautiful lady, obviously. Now, this one here, there is one that's... Uh, where, where is it? Wait a minute. I wanted to do something else for you. Where is it? Uh, La fine dell'asino. Okay, now this one here, I'm going to read. And you have to look at me now, see? La fine dell'asino. Un asino con un carico di sale traversò un fiume, scivolò e cadde in acqua. Il sale si sciolse e quando l'asino poté rialzarsi e si sentì più leggero, fu molto contento dell'accaduto. Di lì a un po' quell'asino venne di nuovo in riva a un fiume e questa volta con un carico di spugne. Pensò di ripetere il gioco e scivolò apposta. Le spugne si imbevero d'acqua, l'asino non si poté più rialzare e morì annegato. <ride> Now, this would be good to translate, okay? 
a donkey, you know, was crossing a river with um, a heavy burden of salt. And uh, because of the water, uh, the, the, the salt became, uh, you know, sort of, uh, uh, became part of the water. And, and the donkey said, well, that's a great idea. So when he saw, when he went to the next river, this time he was carrying sponges. He goes in and try, said, I'm going to do the same trick now. Uh, and, of course, he died as a result because he couldn't get up anymore. So that's it. So the same thing sometimes, you do the same things, and some things don't work out, even though it's it's what they say. It's you've got to know you've got to know it's the right time, and you've got to know what you're doing. Really, there's no escape. No escape. Even uh, uh, now, this one here is a song that everyone sings. A song that everyone sings. Uh, it's called Osarajina. And I'm going to give you the words as well. Okay. This is Renato Carosone again. Okay. Osarajina, Osarajina, Bellu Guaglione, Osarajina, Osarajina, Tutte femmina fanna mura. Tene capille ricce ricce, l'occhio è brigante e lo sole in faccia, ogni figliola si appiccia, si o vede passà, una sigaretta a mocca, una mano ed in sacca, e se ne va smargiassa per tutta la città. O oh, Sarracina, o oh, Sarracina, bello guaglione, o oh, Sarracina, o oh, Sarracina, tutte femme ne fa sospirà. E belle facce, e belle core, sap fa amore, e malandrina, e tentatore, si ho guardato e fa innamora, e una bionda sa velena, e una bruna se ne mora, e veleno calamita, chi ste femmine che le fa, o oh, sarracina, o oh, sarracina. Bello guaglione, e belle faccia, e bello cuore, tutte femmine fanno mura. O oh, Sarracina, o oh, Sarracina, bello guaglione, e eh, Sarracina, o oh, Sarracina, tutte femmine fa sospira, e belle faccia. E belle cuore, sta per fa amore, e tentatore. Si ho guardato e fa innamora, ma una rossa all'ata sera, con un vaso e con una scusa, t'ha rubato l'anima e il cuore, Sarracina non si è chiotto, oh Sarracina, oh Sarracina. So this is a song where he, you know, he's a Don Giovanni, uh, that, uh, you know, all, all women love him, by the way he looks, the way he, he goes around, etc. And then all at once he gets caught. Una, uh, una rossa l'altra sera. Eh? Una rossa the other night. Con un vaso e con una scusa. With a kiss and a, an excuse. Come on, Saracino, I'll fix you up. And she did. That's all Saracino. But the music itself is what counts here. The music. So Carosone really deserves your attention. And... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, what was I going to do now? I, I was going to do one of my poems called La Storia. Now, what is history? I asked myself that question quite a while back. And I said, you know, what is history in, um, in our world? Who creates history? So let's have a look. Who creates history? And by the way, I have the... A translation of this as well, but I will not do it for you. I'll just read it, okay? And this is the poem here. This is my one of my page pages. C'è là chi la racconta, c'è dentro chi se la racconta, c'è anche chi è riconosciuto, c'è chi ha la simpatia degli altri, 
chi ha realmente fatto qualco, qualcosa in più, chi ha semplicemente scritto dei versi, a volte un'enciclopedia. Ci sono poi vari angoli del prismo dei fatti, c'è anche dentro chi non ha fatto niente o chi ha immaginato troppo. Perciò ivi dentro si trovano anche le illusioni e le delusioni di chi pensa di aver fatto ma in realtà non ha. La storia è come la si racconta e chi la racconta? La storia è importante per gli importanti, però la storia è di tutti. You like that? La storia è importante per gli importanti, ma la storia è di tutti. So we make history as well. Carmelina Palazzolo, welcome to my live on Facebook. Welcome indeed. That was last story. Now, after that, I'm going to do one, uh, it's a sad one, another Carosone one, very famous this one, uh, very famous. It's a Lazzarella. Here, let me do Mia Cara Madre. Lacrima Napoletana. This one is a sad one. It's about migration and the fact that, uh, you know, a lot of fathers um, and brothers left uh, Italy to go to America, that's was 100 and plus years ago. Because the, um, uh, the Italians after the Risorgimento, uh, there was uh, problems with the South, Middle and the North, you know, the government, etc., etc. So there was a huge amount of my, my emigration from Italy between 1880 and uh, uh, 1915. Uh, something like 25 million people left. Well, I don't know. I, you know, again, the statistics, you pick them out of the blue, but they are big statistics, so you need to check them out. Lacrima Napoletana. Mia cara madre, sta per trasi in Natale, e a sta lontano chiù mi sa amare. Come vorrei all'umà, due tre biancale, come vorrei sentire un zampugnare, e a ninne miei facite lo presepio, e a tavola mettito piatto mio, facite quando a sera da vigilia, come se mi ansavoie, stessa puria. E in ce ne costa lacrima st'America, a noi napoletana, per noi che non ci chiamiamo cielo e Napoli, come amaro stupana. Mia cara madre, che so, che so è denare, per chi si chiama patria non so niente, ma tengo qualche dollaro e mi pare, che non sono stato mai tanto pezzente. Mi sono tutte notte a casa mia, e de creature me ne sento a voce, e <laughs> my voice is going, ma voi ve so come Anna Maria, con la spada in bietta, non te figli in croce, non te figli in croce. E in ce ne costa lacrima st'America, a noi napoletana, per noi cance che andiamo ci alle Napoli, come amare sto pane. Ma avete scritto che assunto l'ella chiama, chi l'ha lasciata e sta lontana ancora. Chi va già di, se è figlio e vonna a mamma, facitela tornare, che è la signora. Io no, non torno, me ne resta fuori e resta affaticato per tutte quante. Eh? I caggi persi patria, casa, onore, i so carne macella, so emigrante. E in ce ne costa lacrime st'America, a noi napoletana, per noi che ci chiamiamo cielo e Napoli, come amare stupana. Now, this song here is really, it's, a, it's about emigration in the old days. But even emigration today, if people, for example, will get separated from families. So we've got a lot of problems now with families um, being left um, 
unattended by two, you know, by two or more people because in the smaller towns in Italy, there were a thousand, two thousand, five thousand. They're small, you know. It's like in a suburb. You, know, you live in a bubble when you are very young, but when the breadwinner leaves, even if a woman is working, and the children have to go to childcare, let's say. The child misses the mother, but it's you know they get used to it. So they they but when the immigration is finite, you don't see them anymore. That's it can be tragic, and this one here explains that this person here, who has migrated to America, uh, misses the Christmas dinner, and he says, you know, he says, put uh, put my plate there as if I was there, but I can't be there. And if the mother is missing because she's gone with, out with someone else, you can call her back and so that she can look after the children. That was the expectation of them. So some of these songs need to be reinterpreted in, in the sense of understood in context. And that's an important one. Okay, now there's another one here, a, a particular a particular poem, which is very famous too in Italy, and it's called, oh, where is it, Rio Bo. Let me see if I can find it. No, still not there. Tom Padula, what are you doing? San Martino, I've lost Rio Bo. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, here it is. Nice one. Here we are. Rio Bo. And this is by Aldo Palazzeschi. Again, you can look him up. He's a good poet as well. Secondary in Italy, but, you know, it's pretty, very well known. And he goes into a lot of Italian anthologies. Riobo. Tre casettine dai tetti aguzzi, un verde praticello, un esiguo ruscello. Riobo. Un vigile cipresso, microscopico paese vero, paese da nulla. Ma però c'è sempre di sopra una stella, una grande magnifica stella che ha un dipresso occheggia con la punta del cipresso di Rio Bo, una stella innamorata. Chissà se, ne man- se nemmeno ce l'ha una grande città. And of course, chissà se ce l'ha una grande città. See, and then, then here you got the notes. See that? Aguzzo pointed, spitz, pun- Picco, esiguo, piccolo, sottile, vigile, vigilante, il cipresso sempre vigilare sul paese, da nulla, di nessuna importanza, ha un dipresso su per giù, presso poco, a peu près, a peu près, more or less, fast, poco, ma that's in, in Spanish as well, and in French, occheggia, occheggiare, scambiarsi occhiate, to twinkle, in English. So, you know, some of the books that I have helped me keep up, uh, keep up my knowledge of Italian. You can't, you can't just know Italian. You have to invest in it as well. You invest in your body by eating. The brain needs a, the same sort of, uh, the same sort of care. And can I say the heart too needs the same. But. 95% of everything we do, 90% is for the stomach. We invest very little, or very little, 3-4% uh, in, in the heart. And maybe, if you're lucky, half a percentage, or 0.01 or 2 of a percent for the brain. Unless you understand that it's important. So, when you come to my, to my lessons, I don't just do the thing. I like to express my opinions because non c'è nessuno qua. No one is here. Carmelina can't interrupt me. <laughs> Maria can't agree with me, etc., etc. Okay, now, there's another song. There are two of them here by, uh, by my friend here. Now, yeah, I did do Rio Bo by Renato Carosone. And I want, uh, you know, what there is another, there is something else of Renato. 
uh, where did I put it? If I if I find it, I'll read you a bit a bit more by Renato Carosone. Where is it? Where is it? Come on, Tom. Oh God. Oh well, never mind. No, can't find it. See here, just a little one. Ah uh, oh well. Well, next time. I mean, I'm not gonna. I haven't stopped with Carozona because I love him. I absolutely adore this guy. He's. He gave an interview. When was it? Um, on the th uh, he gave an interview in the year of his, a few months before he died. In 2000, and said this is Renato Carosone. He said, Sono nato il 3 gennaio 1920. Dire quando sono nato però non risolve il problema. Adesso dovrei raccontarvi la mia infanzia, i miei primi anni in vico dei tornieri for a Marina, for a Marina, a due passi da Piazza Mercato, cuore di una Napoli stracciona eppure nobilissima. Con queste parole Renato Carasone, uno dei più noti autori ed interpreti della canzone napoletana, iniziava il racconto della sua vita nell'autobiografia Un americano a Napoli, pubblicata poco prima della sua morte. Il cantante che raggiunse il successo con la notissima canzone Tu fa l'americano e con altre notissime melodie, visse appunto in questo vicolo della Napoli antica, nel quartiere Pendino, che prende il nome dalla presenza in loco di tornitoro di legni e metalli. Da questa strada, il cui tracciato originario fu in parte alterato dai lavori del risanamento, Renato Carosoni iniziò la sua scalata verso il successo. His lavori di risanamento is when they do, uh, they go in and redo, what, redo a whole suburb, like what's happened in Fitzroy or Brunswick, you know, from the 1950s onwards. It's a renewal. So, lavori di renewal works. So, who was he? He was primo di tre fratelli. He was the, the eldest one of three brothers. All'età di sette anni fu avviato dal padre, impresario al teatro mercadante. So he was well placed in the, in, the musical, um, in the musical world because his father was an impresario. A teatro mercadante in Napoli, he was the impresario, he organized the plays and the, the, the music, the concerts. So he knew what he was doing. Allo studio del pianoforte. So he directed his son to study pianoforte. Like all good fathers, they want you to follow in their steps. And then you got to find out whether in fact those steps are right for you. Sotto la guida del maestro albanese. So he gave him good tuition. Di Vincenzo Romaniello e di Celeste Capuana. Famous names. Nel 1935, all'età di 15 anni, fu scritturato come pianista commentatore all'opera dei pupi di Don Ciro Perna. 15 years old, he got a job. E due anni dopo, at 17, he si diplomò al Conservatorio di San Pietro a Maiella. Subito dopo lasciò Napoli e si imbarcò per l'Africa in tournée con una commedia di varietà. So he went in Africa to entertain the troops there, the people who had invaded Ethiopia and Abyssinia. And this is a, the fascist period. You know, it's what Putin is doing now. He wants to regain Ukraine. But Ukraine has always been... Uh, has always been invaded over the centuries by... Uh, by the Russians, the Rus, if you go into history, etc., etc. Okay, so I better stop there because I wanted to do the songs uh, before we finish, okay? And I said that I was going to do, uh, maybe I'll just do this one here, Lazzarella, okay? I've got it here and you can have a look too. Here we are. Che libre sotto braccia e camicetta a fiore blu, vo fa signorunella e non sa scuola pure tu. Te piglia sigaretta quando accatta pa pa pa, te miette già un rossetto, come vide fa mamma Lazzare. Ma Lazzarella come si, e non mi piace sempre più, e venga apposta per tutti, 
<ride> vicino a scuola do Gesù tu invece mi rispondi eh già io devo rete proprio a te per me lavoro può aspettare che mi ha già fa non fa per me ah, Lazzarella ventate primavera quando passo tutte le mattine già ti spiecchi in te vetrine solo un complimento ti fa vampà ma Lazzarella come si sì? te non mi piange proprio a me e rire per me fa capire che perdo tempo a presso a te. Mo, mi avrò sti suonia? Mo viene uno studente in anza a scuola do Gesù, te va sempre più stretta a camicetta a fiore blu, te piglie quattro schiaffi tutte vuote che papà, te trovano un biglietto che ti scrive chi l'ulla, la zare. Ma la zarella come si? Sì, c'è si caduta pure tu, l'amore non ti fa mangiare, ti fa soffrire, ti fa pensare. Na se sera tu le dici no, na sera tu le dici ma, ma se non va se te vuoi da, fai, seg fai segni e sì senza parlare. Ah, la zarella, ho oh, tempo come vola, mo te trovo tutte le mattine, chi ne lacrime sto cuscine, manca un compagnello ti può aiutare, ma la zarella come si, sì. te si cagnata pure tu, e te prepara di tu sì, ma di ta chiesa do Gesù, ma la zarella come si, sì. Te si cagnata pure tu, e ti prepara a dis tu sì, ma di da chiesa do Gesù, la 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 la, etc. etc. Now, to us, I've enjoyed this particular uh, hour today because um, I've done the uh, work of a major Italian uh, singer, songwriter, musician, concert master, you name it. Carosone, just a wonderful, a wonderful guy. And he just doesn't belong to Naples. He belongs to Italy. He belongs to the world, including to the people here in Australia, second, third and fourth generations. Unbelievable, unbelievable guy. And I think, um, you know, as you can see, the words are, are, are a language of its, uh, by itself, but very close to Italian. And I can explain some of the, I'm, I've explained some of these uh, songs and uh, you can, they are also translated into Italian and into English. Uh, all that is available to you online. But if you don't have the books, there's no reminder. The reminder of, you, gotta, you have to surround yourself with books. Have a, a little library there at home of the things you invest in your brain, in your heart. That's important. Okay, my next meeting the people will be uh, at Federazione Lucana on the, the last Sunday of each month. From 3.30 till 5, you're most welcome. Uh, I'll be putting up um, the Coro all'improvviso, what we did on Sunday, and you'll be able to see it on Facebook. Uh, and, uh, of course, on the other platforms that I use, uh, which is insegna.com in the blog section, YouTube, under Tom Padula or Tom Padula TV or Tom Padula About, Kid them in. And finally, tompadula.blogspot.com will also give you a lot of other things. There's a whole list on top. It says presentation, whatever, you know, uh, poems, this and that. So that one there is a big one. Okay, on that note, from Tom Padula of Tom Padula, TV on YouTube and Insegna Booksellers. Thank you for your attendance. And uh, this particular podcast now will go online, first of all, on Facebook, or live on my page. Okay, ciao. We, I, I don't think I'll see you now uh, next week. I'll see you at the end of July. On that note, ciao, ciao.